happy God win yo. We not go vote any other person. Yo. We not go vote if it not be PDP. We not go vote any other person. Yo. Yes, to assure you of the support of the palace. You have the full support of our ancestors to be where you are. You should feel comfortable in your office. By the grace of God and our ancestors, you will succeed in your tenure of life. Competent management of public resources in a manner that is open, transparent, accountable and responsive to the needs of the people is the cardinal basis of leadership. The present Edo state is testimony to Godwin Obasiki's vision on how state resources can be used for the benefit of the people. His achievements are cogent and verifiable. They have received recognition in the state and beyond, as echoed from time to time by his fellow governors. The successes recorded by his administration cut across several sectors, such as road infrastructure, social and economic investments, power, health, education, agriculture, environment, and climaxed in the restoration of peace and tranquility in the state. This documentary is the story of Governor Godwin Obaseki's ingenuity in stewardship, purposeful leadership, and his persuasive ability to galvanize people. It is an account of achievements as seen, touched, and felt by the people of Edo State. <laughs> state in the south-south geopolitical zone of Nigeria is an inland state washed by the famous river Niger on the eastern flank. It is bordered in the north and northeast by Kogi state, in the southeast by Anambra state and Delta state to the south. To its west is Ondo state. It is the epicenter of the historically famous Benin Empire. The capital is Benin city. The major ethnic groups that make up the state are the Benis, Essa, Owa, Esako, and Akokwedo. However, due to its cosmopolitan nature, its rich historical background and traditional values, the state plays host to a diverse people from across the country and the world. With its rich biodiversity in forest resources and crude oil production, it has large deposits of solid minerals. It is a vast agricultural belt in Nigeria, producing large-scale oil palm, rubber, timber, cocoa, and other food crops. The Benin-speaking people, who occupy seven out of the 18 local government areas of the state, constitute 57.54%, ESA, 17.14%, AFEMI, comprising of ESAKO, 12.19%, Onwa, 7.43%, and Akokwedo, 5.70%. With a population of over 5 million, Edo State geographically covers approximately 19,187 square kilometers and has a population density of nearly 260 persons per square kilometer. If we not be God, we not go vote. On July 1, 1957, in Benin City, to the famous and renowned Obaseke family, Godwin Nogegasi Obaseke had his early education in St. Matthew's Anglican Primary School, Benin City, from where he proceeded to Erosa Anglican Grammar School, Benin City, for his secondary education. He attended the University of Ibadan, the Columbia University, and then the Pace University in New York. Godwin Obaseki began his career over 35 years ago with established track records in investment banking, asset management, 
securities trading, and the public sector within and outside Nigeria. He founded AfriInvest West Africa Limited in 1995 as the pioneer managing director, which is today a leading investment banking and investment management firm in Nigeria. Before he was elected governor, Godwin Obaseki served as the head of Edo State Economic Team under the administration of Comrade Governor Adam Sushomole from March 2009 to September 2016. He was indeed the pillar of Adam Sushomole's administration. It will require God's guidance and blessing to do the kind of thing that Governor Obaseki has been able to do over the past two years. And I want to share in the joy of the fact that my successor at halftime has more than acquitted himself. But even much more important is the recognition that, as they say in the Bible, unless God helps you to build, the liberal will build in vain. I believe God in his infinite powers and mercy has directed the thoughts, the actions, the policy choices that our governor has had to make. And it shows that God has been with him. And I pray that all the prayers that have been read out today will further empower him and cover him with the blood of Jesus such that even those who hate to see what is good will be forced by the power of the Holy Spirit to force them to see what is positive. Students of history will not forget in a hurry how towards the tail end of his administration, Oshomole brought in Godwin Obaseke, who served meritoriously as the chairman of the economic team in his administration and sold him to the people of Edo State. Adam Oshomole called Godwin Obaseke the brain and creativity behind his administration in Edo State and anointed him as his successor. Oshomole has done the campaign for Godwin Obaseki. He used his mouth to tell Edo people that he is the best man for the job. That for over seven and a half years, he helped him in his government without taking salary. And he also told Edo people that uh, he has used his brain, his connections, to get things done for him. For me, the positive things you can take out of Oshomole's government, Godwin Obaseki was the brain behind them. The praises of Godwin Obaseki, sung by the former governor, appeared too good to be ignored by the voters in Edo State. And in November 2016, Godwin Nogegase Obaseki was sworn in as governor. Shortly after Obaseki assumed office, the political alliance between the two men began to diminish. The rift, which was subtle, at first, later became glaring. I knelt down to beg Oshomole that this government is doing well, and the policies that we, agree, uh, we, we adopted during this time, we have taken them to the next level. I went on my knees to beg Oshomole that if, no matter what Obaseki will have done, which Everything that I asked, all the questions I asked, flimsy excuses he was giving me. And I said, when I could not hold something that Oshomole had with the governor, I knelt down and I begged him. I said, I am your son. Why not, because of me, forgive? And Oshomole said, now he has confirmed that I am now with the governor. And I stood up and I said, well, if you want to remove the governor, then you remove the governor and I. But you want to use me to chase the governor? No way. If the governor goes, I go. Governor Godwin Obaseke changed the narrative of governance, introducing meritocracy in the system. And this didn't go down well with his predecessor, who wanted things done his way. Adam Sushomali then explored various means of getting rid of the governor at all costs. 
Obaseki was disqualified from contesting the governorship election. People are asking questions. Is Edo State the personal property of Adam Sochomole? That at one point he would tell us, no, this man is bad. Don't trust him. Don't vote for him. Few years, few years after, he would come back to us again and say, look, vote for him. He should be able to address the issues. Determined to retain his mandate, he defected to the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, where he was received with open arms. He later emerged as the standard bearer of the party for the September 19 governorship election. This mandate that has been given to us is simple. What you are saying as a party is we like what you have done the last four years. Please go back and continue and improve on what you have done in the last four years. In the last four years, we put our people first. Nothing else mattered more than our people. Even though that put us in trouble, but we didn't mind. Because once the voice of our people is the voice of God. You all know that Edo is the heartbeat of the nation. And what happens in Edo affects all parts of the nation. And so, today, this day, the 25th, the beginning of the emancipation of, the, of, of our great country from the grips, from the evil grips of the APC has started. No one man can decide what will happen in Edo State. Today is the end of so-called God's fatality. I thank Dr. Obaseke for the interest of Edo people. If he was selfish, if he was selfish, he would have been to the tune of one man. In the span of the crisis, there were intrigues, litigations, threats, amongst others. But for the majority of Edo people, the issues are clear. If this man was presented to Edo people on account of his commendable performance, one would wonder what then has changed. When Oshomole, His Excellency Comrade Oshomole, mentioned all the reasons why it must be Basaki or, or not, no, nobody else. He gave all the strong reasons, all the strongest reasons in the world why it must be Obaseki. And he told me everything that His Excellency Governor Obaseki was going to be much better than him, was going to perform better than he was going to continue his, his legacy, he was going to continue his project, and so on and so forth. I was very, very sad, shocked. What I thought was going to be smooth right for everybody, it, it degenerated to His Excellency the Governor being, being, being disqualified from the same party. You know, and then uh, I was surprised that what made him qualify to be there for the, last, for the last four years. In 2016, when the baton of leadership was passed on to Godwin Obaseke in a joint ticket with Philip Schreiber, he embarked on a comprehensive institutional reform covering all areas of governance in a way that would have a direct bearing on the people of Edo State. Today, Edo has become a model for action at the sub-national level. Since it came in, it has not borrowed one penny. Instead, it is reducing the debt inherited from the previous governments, making sure that pensions arrears are cleared. And today, pensioners are getting their money that has been due. Civil servants are paid that has been due. Roads are being constructed. And all human activity, financial activity, economic activity have been focused upon to make Edo State the economic hub of West Africa. Obaseki's vision is to build a bureaucracy that delivers exceptional quality service to support the socio-economic goals of the government within the ambit of the law. In this context, the civil service is fundamental. He therefore began the transformation of the civil service, first by rebuilding the state secretariat to become a world-class complex. Besides formulating a policy of merit-based engagement of workers, 
He commenced a continuous capacity development at the John Odige Oyegun Training Center to motivate the civil service positively. It did appear that Obaseki was obsessed with reforms. He revealed the internal processes to improve the efficiency of the civil service and crowned the staff motivation with prompt and regular payment of wages. <laughs> In every democratic dispensation, a significant drawback to good governance is the neglect of the senior citizens, those who have spent the productive years of their life to serve the government. Upon assuming office in 2016, he immediately embarked on comprehensive pension reform, which made elaborate allowance for prompt payment of pensions and gratuities to retired workers. He established the Edo State Pensions Bureau in Benin, set up pension committees to ensure timeless processing of payments of the backlog of pensions from 2013. Today, it's a new dawn for the senior citizens. The retired workers of Edo State, who for a long time were neglected and abandoned by the previous governments. By the name of Jesus Christ, God will govern Basaki. It will not be done. The work of his father will carry him up. Inspired by the zeal to improve the lives of his people, Governor Godwin Obaseki embarked on massive reforms of the education system. His vision has been the delivery of highly literate and well-educated populace with a systemic transformation of primary education, rebuilding of schools and transition from theoretical knowledge to skills-based education. Edo Best is a program spearheaded by the Edo State Universal Basic Education Board. The objective of the program is to reform the basic subsector. His Midas touch changed the old order. What is most important for me, as far as I'm concerned, is education. Because with the right education, with quality education, particularly at the very, very early stages in life. You will prepare society to achieve everything the society is able to achieve. As a result of interventions undertaken under the Adobe scheme, more than 150,000 schoolchildren have been impacted. Over 11,400 school teachers have been trained and equipped with ICT capability for improved teaching and learning. More than 234 schools have been reconstructed and renovated. More than 11,400 computer tablets distributed to teachers and head teachers in the state. 11,688 members of the state school-based management committee were trained to provide assistance in administering and maintaining the various educational institutions and facilities. During his inaugural speech in 2016, Godwin Obaseki articulated his vision to create 200,000 jobs. To achieve this, he established the State Skills Development and Job Creation Agency, designed to reflate and energize the Edo economy. It is on record today that over 160,000 jobs have been created under this project. In partnership with the National Directorate of Employment, Obaseki's administration supported 300 unemployed women with 300,000 Naira under his Micro Enterprises Enhancement Scheme. The program for women in Edo State is very significant and impactful because it helped to curb the migration of the women noticeably to other countries. Under the agency are the Edo Innovation Hub, which is a cluster of inventors and innovators targeting the Edo youth, Edo Production Center, which is a multi-purpose one-stop shop for small businesses with support infrastructure such as 24-hour electricity supply, security and low-cost financing to boost the economy and drive employment opportunities. There is also the Edo Food and Agriculture Cluster. Governor Godwin Obaseki attached a high premium to the provision of roads. 
This is because the people can only feel the presence of government if their areas are opened up to boost their means of livelihood. His administration has constructed several roads built within the first tenure of his administration, while others are at the various stages of completion. Make you carry your ticket go. Oh God, I say carry your ticket go. Anywhere God win day and I dare we they go. Anywhere shy we they go and I dare we they go. Oh God, the notion that the grass is greener on the other side has led many young Nigerians to embark on the dangerous journey of migration through the desert to Europe, where they face violence, exploitation, and abuse. Available data shows that a lot of the deportees who claimed to have left from Nigeria indicate Edo as their state of origin, making Edo state the epicenter of illegal migrants. To curb illegal migration and human trafficking, the government of Edo state constituted a task force and empowered them with relevant laws to do the needful. Three years down the line, over 4,744 returnees in 54 batches have been received, profiled, and rehabilitated in Edo State. The returnees received skills acquisition, provided accommodation and allowances. The efforts of Godwin Obaseki was particularly noticed and commended by the United Kingdom's Department for International Development, U.S. Embassy, the European Union, and the Economic Community of West African States. Yes, we have yes. them in different models. Uh -huh. You know, we have we started and parried them in different areas. Yes. Yes. But while they're paying, are they paying? No, no, it's free of charge. It's free of charge. Yeah, we pay them to let. Ah, because they pay them. Yeah. yeah, so so they can get a salary. Absolutely, a yes. stipend. Yes. Uh -huh. Because they are vulnerable, yes. they don't have money. Yes. Because of the poor background, that yes. tends to take them back to the street. Yes. So we pay them so that they'll be able to take care of themselves. Yes. They still come back to work. Yeah. yeah. So in two years they do the job and so then they can be self-reliant. Yes, so they start and they can support their families so with the with the income and the yes. gas. This is absolutely great because this project is breaking stereotypes. You know, sometimes people believe that women are not good for mechanics. So you show the contrary that they are. We we proven yes. that yes. that over yes. 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 No, congratulations. I think it's a great great opportunity. Encouraging us. It's encouraging us. Encouraging us. The government of Edo State uh, is very seriously and practically standing against the human trafficking, particularly as it affects us in Edo State. And um, as church leaders, we are in complete support with uh, the Edo State government in dealing with human trafficking that has become a very serious evil in our land. To improve the quality of service in the primary health care system, Governor Godwin Obaseki resurrected 20 neglected primary health care centers across the 18 local government areas of Edo State. He also established the Edo Health Program, through which primary health care givers are trained. Governor Obaseki resuscitated the Edo Specialist Hospital and fully equipped it. He introduced health insurance services to the poorest of the poor and took steps to improve the capacity of health workers to tackle infectious diseases. Obaseki's health program reduced the rate of maternal mortality drastically, minimized the cost of high-quality health care, and created ancillary job opportunities. Godwin Obaseki has stamped his footprint in agriculture. His interest is to boost security and create economic prosperity. He overhauled the Moribond Fertilizer Plant and the Chemical Company of Nigeria developed 150,000 hectares of maize farm in Sobe, set aside 5,000 hectares for aquaculture, and invested 25 billion naira across the agriculture value chain. Obaseki's penchant for infrastructure development is unparalleled. His vision is to restore and build world-class infrastructure that fosters economic growth, optimize urban industrial structures, and promote employment. The Gelegele Seaport is one of the signature projects of Obaseki's administration. 
to open up the state for socio-economic gains. Governor Obaseki sealed a deal with a Chinese firm, China Herbal Engineering Company Limited, for the construction of the Gele Gele Seaport project. The project, which will be driven by the state government and the private sector, would serve as an agro-processing zone and export processing zone upon completion. The Edo Refinery and Petrochemical Company is an offshoot of the Edo State Government's policy of attracting investments to the state. The government provided a 700 million naira project support fund that accelerated the establishment of the company in the state after signing a memorandum of understanding with the Chinese consortium. The refinery has reached 90% mechanical completion and efforts are in top gear to beat the commissioning deadline with a team of over 450 locally recruited engineers, fabricators, and other workers engaged on the project. Edo must move forward, yo. Move forward, forward, yo. Backward never, yo. Yo, 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 yo. No government that is in, yo. Move forward, yo. Right now, we've completed the 1,000 barrels per day. For the 6,000 line cents we have is in two phases, 1,000 barrels per day and 5,000 barrels per day. Godwin Nogegase of Baseki is a focused servant who has the upliftment of the people of Edo State as the main reason for seeking another tenor of four years. He is humble, detribalized, accessible and open to ideas that will add value to the state. Above all, he has unshakable faith in God. The I meant both to say that you have brought prudence to governor. You have brought transparency to governor. You have brought stability to governor. You have brought accountability to governor. You have brought calmness, calmness to the political sphere of the state. They are trying to provoke us. Don't be provoked. They said they are removing posters. We are not tired of pasting posters. If they remove it, we paste another one, but don't fight them. Eh? Reserve your energy for on the 19th of September. And we will use our PVC to fight back. Eh? We use our big PVC. If they are looking for physical fight, we will we'll say no, we will use our big VC to fight. On the 19th, we will now, we will now protect them. Our new politics is unity. Edo come together as one. Now, Edo is PVP. Edo is one. And PVP is in Delta. PVP is in Bayelsa. PVP is in Aquaibo. PVP is in River. PVP is in Cross River. Now, PVP is in Edo. Let me see, Governor, Governor, you know, let us say, of us. Praise the Lord. Church, praise for the Jesus. The Lord has done it for us. They are full of signs, and we are here to thank him, to join you in just giving thanks to the Almighty God. Lord, thank you because of their help. Lord, it's no movement, no attack, no sickness, no disease. We are going to go. And even as they are thanking you, Lord, with the quick thanksgiving, we must see their come.
country at the moment is going through very difficult times. You will know the state of our economy. As of today, the Naira is exchanging for about 600 and something Naira to a pound. The security situation in the country is bad. So all we are looking forward to as a nation is to strengthen the democratic institutions so that the people can have a choice in taking a decision on who governs them. But if you take that away from the people, well, as a nation, we be doomed. So I believe Heineck has a responsibility to do what is expected of them. Jonathan did it as president. He ensured that states were allowed to decide who governs them. That was why Adams, in the first place, had the opportunity of becoming governor of Edo State. And I believe for the survival of our democracy, Heineck should do the needful. Mm. They should allow people to vote according to their conscience. Edo people are aware of the development trajectory which the Obaseki-led government has pursued over the last three and a half years. It is safe to proclaim that the state is working again and that Edo State is back. September 19, 2020 holds a lot more promise for Edo people. Given a second chance, Godwin Obaseki will not only do more, he will consolidate on those he has already established. <laughs> Yeah, we did.